Hello again, ladies and gents. Harvey from Echo here, um, and I'm with you today to talk to you and show you five simple steps for beginners on using Ableton and how to create a drum beat. I'm going to try and keep this as simple as I can, just to show you that it's not actually too difficult to make a drum beat or anything really complex. And I'll show you how you can progress through it and how you can kind of make it a song just from a, from a starting point. Uh, before I get into it, just remember to subscribe to the to the channel, um, like the video if you found it useful, and if you have any comments, please comment below. Uh, would love to know what you thought of this. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first of all, you open up a new project. Um, and when you have you open up Ableton, it kind of looks like this. Um, so the way you do it is just file on the new live set, but you'll know that anyway. Okay, so let's get into it. So step one, create a MIDI track. Now when you open up Ableton already, you already have two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. So now there's a little mic track obviously for myself, but you can either create a new MIDI track. And the way you do that is you go up to where it says create up here and then click insert MIDI track and it inserts a new one right there, right next to the one that you've been selected. Or there's a quicker way of doing it, which is with a command, which is command shift T. And there's another one there. So on Ableton 9.7, it automatically colors the tracks just to make it easier for you. So I'm just going to delete these. So we've just got the one MIDI track and I'll get rid of these other audio tracks. So we've just got the one MIDI track going on here. Now step two, add a drum rack. Now a drum rack is the instrument used to play the drums. So the way you do that is you go over to the left here in the finder bar and you select drums. Now what you've got here is loads of different kits that have either come with Ableton, um, depending on which version you have, and a couple that I've made myself. Um, and it's also got the drum rack here. So if you double click on this, it will bring up the drum rack, or you could alternatively drag it over. Step three, the drum selection. So here, once you've got your MIDI track and you've got your drum rack set up, this is essentially just a blank template um, ready to play. However, you need your sounds and you need your drums. So here's where you make, you make your selection of what drums you'd like to use. So once you click the drum section up here like you did to add the drum rack, you'll see it's got loads of different kits. So you've got kit 606, as you can hear, 7, loads of different kits to use. Now, there's alternatives that you can do to add drums. So first of all, you could double click on this or drag it. So let's just choose the 808 kit. Drag this down to the drum rack here. And automatically, it gives you all the drums that are inside the sound. So for example, there's the kick here, or the rim, or the snare, or the clap. So you've got all different drums in here straight away. And this is a good way just to get straight into it. Step four create a MIDI clip. So the next step is where we actually start making our drum sequence. Um, now a drum sequence is the arrangement of which drums play where. Now the way you do that is you have to make something called a MIDI clip. So because this is a MIDI track, we create this thing called a MIDI clip, which you put and program where the drums you want to play and when. So the way to do that in this Ableton view here is you double click on this box up here and it creates a, a rectangle around this sort of region here and a little play button. Now when you go down here, obviously the view of the drums have changed. To go back to the drums, you simply click back on the kit, double click, and it go, gives you back to the drums. So once we're, we're going to go back on the MIDI clip here. Now here you can see on the left, you've got all the different drums you've got, except they're on the piano keys. Now the piano keys doesn't mean that they'll be playing in, for example, C or D. It just means that they are to be triggered from a certain key. So for example, if I hit uh, C, I'm using my MIDI keyboard, so I'm hitting C and it's playing the 808 kick. And then if I play, for example, E, it's playing the clave and the F is the tom. So that's how it's triggered. Now, uh, you don't have to have a mini keyboard like I did. There's a way that you can put in these notes manually um, just with your mouse. Now the pen tool is located all the way up in the top right hand corner next to the little keyboard, as you can see here. So if you click that, it'll highlight yellow so that you know you're using it. And then you go back down to here and then you can put in a MIDI note. So anywhere you want. So for example, if I just put a couple here and show you how that sounds. So that's how we insert MIDI notes. So let's go ahead and just make a little um, MIDI clip a little sort of arrangement with the kick. Now to play the clip, you simply go up to the button, the play button up here on the clip and press play and it'll play automatically. Okay. 
as you can hear. Now to stop it, you can press this play button and it stops it at the end of the bar or end of the beat arrangement um, or you can press stop up here. Now this, uh, the difference between this play and this play up here I will get back to in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make a drum beat and how I sequence one. So we've got the kicks going on down here. So let's put in a clap somewhere. Maybe a snare. Maybe like a cymbal. Closed hi hats going. Now the thing is with closed hi hats is um, I want them to be playing on sixteenths, um, which is fairly quick. And the way you do that, you can just click and then hold as you drag across, and you put them across all the different notes. So it'll sound like this. And maybe I want to uh, get rid of that one, replace it with a uh, open hi hat. In which case, all we do is go up to the pen tool, and click off it, so we can select this one. And then you can press up on the um, on the keyboard, or you can move it up manually with the mouse to the open eye hat, as we can see it says here. So just for more of a quick and ease of use, the keyboard shortcut for the pen tool is B. As you can see, once I select, once I press B, it goes to the pen tool. Um, I'm not exactly sure why it's B, um, but it's just something to remember. Um, and worth keeping in mind, and it makes things a, a lot quicker when you want to drag something instead of having to go all the way to the top to unselect it. So we've got a fairly standard uh, drum uh, loop and MIDI clip going on. Now that's steps one, two, three, four, and five. However, it doesn't stop there because all we've got at the minute is a drum clip that we can play on loop when we press play. What we want to do here is we want to create some variation. Now, within Ableton, there's two different views um, for two different reasons. So you have something called session view, which is this view we're looking at, and then you have something called arrangement view, and arrangement view looks like this. So arrangement view is where you go about actually writing the tune and putting it in to almost like building uh, the puzzle pieces together, and the arrangement view is the finished puzzle. So we'll go back to uh, the session view. Now session view is usually where you um, compose all the different bits you want, all the different MIDI clips and variations of drums, etc. And then when you want to f um, make the track and actually do it from start to finish, you do it in the arrangement view. So I've gone ahead and I've made um, four different MIDI loops. So I've got uh, an intro section, a mid section, a fill, and then an outro. Um, for this drum loop. Now what I'm going to show you now is actually how we can go about making this into a proper sequence rather than just loads of separate drum loops. Now before I do that, one little tip to show you as well um, that I haven't mentioned already. When you're sequencing these drum loops such as I have, um, you may be wanting to figure out and solo which sounds you actually want to use instead of actually just inputting them. So for example, the conga. However, when I click the note, I can't actually hear it. You click this little headphone light up here and it turns blue. Now once you do that, you'll be able to hear the sound that you're going to be soloing and selecting. And this just makes it a lot easier for the drums to be worked with. So let's go ahead and make an arrangement. Now the way you go into the arrangement view is you go all the way to the right hand corner and it's this little symbol up here, the three lines, horizontal lines. Now there's a quicker way to do it, and the way I like to do it is when you press tab and it sends you straight there. Now once you're here, obviously your clips aren't actually in the clip view. So the way you'd put them in is you go back to the session view, which would be a pressing tab or clicking here, and you'd select all of them. So you hold shift and then select the top one and then go to the bottom one. From there, you hold, you drag them and then press tab and it sends you to this window here. In which case you drop them on the first track where it says kit 09 or whatever kit you've used. Now if you press play, what it's actually doing is looping this first loop that we've got going on here. 
So what you have to do is you have to press this little orange button up here and that basically means it's going to stop looping whatever's in the session view. So once you press that, it's now brought up the mid clips that you've used. Now to see these a bit easier, the way you'd zoom in is once you highlight over the timeline bar, it gives a little hand with a magnifying glass. Now you click this and then you pull down on your mouse and you eventually zoom in. It's inverted, so you'll have to get used to it, but it's a lot easier once you're actually used to it. So now I've zoomed in all the way to see all the different tracks in order um, from start to finish. Now, for example, I might, I might want this to be a bit longer than just six seconds. So I'm going to just drag this. You just hold and click the top bar and drag it to where you want to. So I want this as my intro, which is pretty cool. Um, however, I want that to go on for, say, four bars or so. So I'm just going to move all these. Now you can move all of them at the same time if you click and then hold shift and then click the last one and then you can move them together. Now here I want to duplicate this or copy and paste it. So you can copy and paste it which is right click, copy and then click where you want to paste it and then right click and then paste. Or the usual command C to copy and command V to paste as you would anything else. Or the way I like to do it is duplicate it. So you right click and then duplicate and it does an exact carbon copy of it um, after it starts. Now there's a keyboard shortcut which is Command D. So I'm going to duplicate it twice. Okay, so we've got an intro so far. Now I'd like to start bringing the beat back in. So I'm going to bring this drum loop over as it starts to build up a bit. And I'll duplicate that three times and use the drum fill loop I've got on the end to finish the bar. And then from there, I'm just going to end it. So I'm going to use the ending clip. So what we've done essentially here is we've built um, a just an 18 second loop uh, arrangement of drums from four different clips that we've made in the session view, which is when you press tab, as you can see here. And the result and that's how you make an arrangement. Now you may be thinking when you're watching this video, I don't want to just be using an 808 kit. I want to be using my own drums that I've got my own samples for. And you can do that, and I'll show you how to do that. So to make it easier, we'll go back to session view. So press tab or click the little button up here. Now what I'm going to do is insert a brand new MIDI clip. So create, insert MIDI track. Now we're going to get the drum rack again. So drag the drum rack onto the fresh MIDI track. Now you've got a fresh drum rack. Now from here, you can put in your own sounds. Now, the way I do this is um, when you click samples, you'll have all the different samples that come with Ableton and all the different samples that either I have or that you own, etc. Um, so for example, I want a kick, so I'll type in kick, drag that down to C. And from here, we can play the kick. And then maybe we want a snare. That's weird. Yeah, that's okay. And then we'll drag that down to here as well. So we can play that. And then maybe in a, uh, a closed hi-hat. Perfect. So although this isn't the most extensive and most imaginative kit possible, it's our own kit and we can do what we like with it. So when we go up here and then we double click to create a new MIDI track, we've got all the different sounds here. So we can solo them and listen to them. So we can just go ahead and make something. So there we are, we just made our own drum uh, loop with our own drum sounds. Oh, turn this off. And it's that simple really. Um, and you can do lots of different things with the drum rack. Um, 
But in this video, I just wanted to show you the absolute basics of how to create a drum arrangement within Ableton with five simple steps. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If there's anything you're not sure about, any questions, please leave a comment below and we'll try and get back to you as quick as we can. Um, we like helping out people as much as we can. Also, if you found this useful or if you found tips when you were trying this technique out that we didn't mention in this video and that you'd like to mention, please mention it. We love, um, we love it when you help us out and everyone else out. Um, also, if you haven't done already, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. There will be other uh, tutorial videos that I'll be doing and uh, showing you specifically in Ableton. Um, and from there, I will see you next time. Thanks.